Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over all of the new content and give you guys a update of my team that I use on PlayStation, so not my free-to-play team, and we'll break down all of the new prime times for November 30th. Let's get into the video, guys. All right, we'll start off with the 82 Brett Connolly from the Florida Panthers, 6'3", 195, so he's got good size with the passing playmaker synergy, so I've spoken about this synergy over the course of the season. Not extremely good. Now, he is right-handed. You'd have to put him on the wing, though, obviously. He's only got 62 face-offs. Just, just a pass. His hand stats are too low. You know what I mean? He's just all around doesn't do anything special enough to be a low 82 that you'd consider for your team so this would be a sell for me then we've got the 83 ollie matta with the distributor synergy which makes him extremely valuable uh, again if you pack this card do not sell him wait until the price range is fixed uh, before you go and move him as he will be insta sold for the price range lock that he'll be so make sure you do not sell him if you are looking to buy make you know uh you know a good increase in, in your coins i would sit on this card and just keep spamming refresh and buying it at the max you can get it so six foot two with distributor 87 speed if that gets activated uh makes him a pretty usable card a stick checking is at 86 which is nice he's big at six foot two um his shot nothing special i mean 80 power 85 shot power but not really going to use him for his offense but this is a decent filler card on left defense for distributor so not a bad option but he's going to cost so much like he's going to be over 60k which isn't worth it at all um more than likely but let's just take a look if there's any on the market which i doubt there is because he has distributor oh and there's two up right now and yeah they don't they don't have a max so just watch out for that as the current bid right now with 35 minutes left is 25k so that kind of gives you a idea of what he's going to cost then we've got the 83 radic faxa with the light the lamp synergy six foot three 216 only has 77 face-offs though this is a card i'd actually love to see have thief because he would be half decent if he had thief as a synergy uh does have 85 body checking his shot is in the mid 80s hand stats in the mid 80s you know, if his face-off rating was high enough, he would be usable as a center because he is a bit slower, so you can't use him on the wing, which unfortunately just makes him unusable in my opinion, not someone I would go after. Then we've got the 84 Darnell Nurse with the Howitzer synergy making him extremely useful as that would boost his speed all the way up to 87 before distributor, so 90 at 6'4", his shot would be 90 as well as accuracy is going to be a mess. Hand stats are rough too, but passing's 84, which isn't terrible. Stick checking, defensive awareness at 87, 86, and 87 body checking on the 6'4 frame is extremely usable. This is a nice mid-80s left-handed defenseman card. I'm curious to see what he would go for. I would not pay 60k, um, but if he gets to like 35, you know, roughly, uh, this is definitely a usable card uh, for anyone looking for that mid-tier left-handed defenseman. Like this is almost more useful than the this is more useful than the base uh, Victor Hedman, just because a little bit more speed. So keep that in mind. And we've got the 86 Patrice Bergeron with the Thief synergy. So this makes him one of the best centermen in the game on the draw, which is. You know, again, if you are a free-to-play team and you're you're trying to build your lineup, you could have a bunch of the franchise greats as well as, like, the Team of the Week Larkin that have Thief that make your center position extremely useful. His speed is fine, 85 across the board, basically. Shot, same thing. Um, so, like, offensively, he's nothing crazy, but passing and puck control at 90, basically, you know, those are the important stats for a center. This is a great card, and if you activate Thief, you're, you're going to have a significant advantage on the draw. I'm curious to see what he's going for. I wouldn't spend 100k on him that should come down um if he's under once he's under 100k this is a pretty good card and someone that i would look to target for sure so guys now on to the update of my team right now so just to give you guys a heads up i've got swarm howitzer speedster and distributor i took out because i'm selling my jerome ginla so uh 88 gila fleur with saku koivu and connor mcdavid i really like this connor mcdavid i just wouldn't pay the price if, you, if i was anyone that you know wasn't hut rich then Wayne Gretzky, Nobles, and Lemieux. I think Nobles is still the best centerman. I was just trying them out, flipping them around. I still like Nobles first. Then I've got, this is Jerome Aginla, who I'm actually loving. I find that his shot's really effective. I just seem to be scoring with him. He's on my third line with Bergeron and Tavo Teravainen. And then my fourth line of Nylander, Sakic, and Matthews. I would love another card to replace Matthews with, but until something of, there's just really no good speedster cards because speedster's important for the top end guys like Lafleur and as well as Miro Ice skin. It's very, very important to keep that activated if you are, you know, a stacked squad. My defense is gross, though. I mean, Ekblad and High Skinnen, then Roman Yossi and Nicholas Hansen, and then I've got the John Carlson with Paul Coffey. I'm almost about to, I'm about to sell Paul Coffey. That'll come shortly. Um, I'm just waiting to see who gets released next, 
And then in net, we've got Linus Olmark and Billy Smith. For synergies, Olmark I really enjoy. I would love to get Marty Bro uh, Broder instead, but the synergies won't work. So that is the squadron currently, guys. You can watch it. Watch me play live every single day. Go live at 12 p.m. Eastern time on Twitch. The link is down below. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's content. I'll see you tomorrow.